Hey guys, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, we're doing a 2020 Panini Absolute Baseball 10 box case break number three, random team. So we've got full list of names in the Anthony Venturino uh, and from Daniel Rees down to Anthony Venturino with the uh, fillers that they got in the last select blaster box. And then Timothy Langston. I'm assuming since he was the last one on the list, that's going to be last spot mojo as well. The last box. See? Um, purchased straight up. I forgot to do that. Come on, Joe. It's all good. So Timothy Langston with the last spot mojo. Come on. Does Nightbot naturally just start entering stuff every once in a while? Okay. It's automated. I, I change it every once in a while. So Pat down to Anthony on the list of names. And we've got the list of teams from the Diamondbacks down to the Nationals. Dice roll. We're going to do eight the hard way for list of names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eighth and final time, we've got Tyler Brenner down to Sean Kirkham. Will, I believe uh, Nightbot reports you and then you get banned from YouTube. So let's not do that. At least not tonight. Try it tomorrow with Joe. Someone slagging off Nightbot? Will asked uh, what happens if you report Nightbot. <laughs> I don't know. If you if you report the people that you're supposed to report to, I think I'd get in, we'd get in trouble, not Nightbot. Right? Nightbot's just an automated service. If we're controlling what Nightbot says, yeah, we'd probably get in trouble. So eight times on the teams. Yeah. If Nightbot was like, you know, I hate ethnic group X Y Z, <laughs> right? That's obviously a human here had said said it like that. So yeah, you could report that, and we'd get in trouble. Sixth time. Apologies to X Y and Z. Seventh. It's a great culture. And. Eighth and last time, we have the Braves down to the Rangers. So, Diamondbacks, Daniel Rees. Uh, let's pick the Cubs. Brad Monroe. We're going to sort this by teams. Okay, Daniel Ruiz with the Diamondbacks, Tyler Brenner with the Braves, James Likakos with the Orioles, Tom Jones with the Red Sox, Brad Monroe with the Cubs, Shannon Rex with the White Sox, Craig McGinnis with the Reds, Nick Tywalk with the Indians, Josh Allen with the Rockies, Chad Breitner with the Tigers, Anthony Venturino with the Astros, Daniel Burns with the Royals, James Likakos with the Angels, Chris Miller with the Dodgers, Robin Burke with the Marlins, Jeff Brown with the Brewers, Jarrell Taylor with the Twins, Ron Rittner with the Mets, Jeff Brown with the Yankees, Anthony Venturino with the A's, Robin Burke with the Phillies, Timothy Langston with the Pirates, Rick Bennett or Beckett with the Padres, Pat Wolf with the Giants, Jason Kay with the Mariners, Sean Kirkham with the Cardinals, John McCall with the Rays, Sean Kirkham with the Rangers, John McCall with the Jays, and Daniel Ruiz with the Nationals. Almost got me with the McCall, Kirkham, McCall, Rays, Jays. Uh, so we'll open up for a trade window, guys. Uh, take a look. Let me know if we have any trades. So if you were going to pause it for a trade window. Click the pause button right on the far right. Oh, next to stop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just starts and stops recording. Pausing is different. So now that it's green, that. we're back. Uh, no, the red dot. Yeah, the red record dots up there on the bottom right. Of that, so that means you're still now you're rolling. Okay, cool. So we're good, guys. We're back. No trades. Um, so everybody stayed the same. Ten boxes, twenty twenty, absolute baseball. 
I know that my knife skills are going to bother Mike right off the bat. Switch trees. Good call. They do see your people boxes. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> there we go. Joe, have you been like ripping like two or three boxes at a time or what? However you want to do it, whatever's faster for you. Sounds good. I don't know what the format is on these. You haven't done any uh, personal time? Not yet. Oh. We just got them on what, Friday? You could have, didn't you guys see it on the, this camera over here? You can see the box the whole time. So we'll go five boxes. How about that? Jason, for longer breaks, yeah, we'll rip like half the case and then just blast through them and then rip the other half. One has a different format and style. We'll figure it out together, guys. Three hits, middle of the pack, all thick and easy to spot. Kind of like me. That was fun, Tim. That was a lot of fun. I actually talked to uh, Jesse today. He called into the store. That was my first time ever ripping a card or cutting it open, so I enjoyed that a lot. You hit a Hughes one of one earlier, Mike. Over on personals, Jason might have beat that. I think it was posted up on Instagram, though. Uh, yes, Jason says that the Holland is definitely better, Mike. Something in the 10,000 figure? Yeah, out of 10? Oh, out of 5, I think. Red? What was the red out of 10? Oh, out of 10? Out of 10, yeah. Okay. I don't even know the guy's first name. I just know his last name is Holland. Really? Arthur, that's what I'm here for. I was brought in to help you out. Specifically Arthur.
Mike, I've got some spare change in my car. We could uh, we could figure something out. It was Jack, right? Or was it a? Uh, was it Jack or was it Quinn Hughes? Jack Hughes. Okay. So the higher draft pick, but the le the less ba the less better rookie year. First four boxes for us guys. Aaron Nola to 99. First hit. Tools of the trade. Fernando Tatis Jr. to 99. Should probably put the cards a little bit lower, huh? Ronald Bolanos, triple patch auto to 140. And rookie auto, Nico Horner. I like this. And that's numbered out of 125. 61 out of 125. What are the, Joe or any chat, what's the case hits in this? No? Are there color blast, anything like that? Are there color blasts in this? Or maybe, I think there might be color blasts in Absolute. Okay. Couldn't be an RPA if it was Jack Hughes? Who Jack Hughes on the on the on the Jack hockey? Jack yeah, he's definitely a rookie. Yeah. I mean, he just drafted this last year. Is Quinn Hughes not a rookie this year? I thought he was too. Well, I'm pretty sure they're both rookies. Yeah. In, in sets. But I think. Quinn was drafted in a different year, it's just this is his rookie year. I don't even know hockey and I think I know that. Okay, now I got the feel of it, guys. Verdugo. Here, let me adjust the camera up a little bit. Sorry for the uh, finicky guys. Pete Alonso, Jorge Soler to 99. Jalen Davis, Tools of the Trade to 99. Miguel Andujar, Patch Auto to 49. And Andres Munoz, Rookie Auto. To 99. Yeah, it's all good, Louis. It happens. We all get confused sometimes, right? Two different seasons, though. Yeah, at this point. 
It's also with, you know, one getting drafted a different year than the other, I think, right? So they were different. Well, I guess there's like a minor league system. They must have come up at the same time, so they're rookies? Uh, yeah, I think yes. he was – I think Quinn was drafted 2018 draft. And Jack was after that. We're not going to set any land speed records with this break, guys. Sorry. But. Once I figure out what size top loaders and everything, well, hopefully I'll get a little bit quicker for you. Fernando Tatis Jr. to 99. Manuel Margot. Double bat relic to 199. Domingo Leyva, six relic auto to 149. And Willie Castro, rookie auto to 125. And Aristides Aquino. Babe Ruth to 199. Eloy Jimenez, tool of the trade. Six relic, number to 49. 49 of 49. Zach Collins, tool of the trade. Dual relic auto to 49. And Kwong Yun Kim. Rookie auto to 75. Great looking auto there too. Good, good, good Korean there, Sean. I tried. I worked, I worked on it for you. I worked on it for you. Watching a lot of KBO, huh? Uh, that Garrett Cole and Tanaka was numbered to 99. I was actually watching KBO last night. I know. I heard. It was impressive. It's just not the same without like the fans chanting and everything no, like know. that. It is pretty fun though. I mean, it's baseball. What about? Yeah, they, they. I mean, the crowds are like soccer crowds at baseball games. You know what I mean? So that's why there's a lot of singing and chanting. And stuff. Nick Shaunaf, Sean Furman. I'm okay with that. I, I I appreciate Nick Offerman. He's much cooler than me though. Pete Alonso to 199. Ichiro, hall bound. Relic, no number. Randy Arena. Rookie auto to 125. I really like these uh, baseball autographs. And Aristides Aquino, rookie black auto. Ooh, that's nice. Gold ink to 25. That's a really nice one. The gold stitching looks really cool. Nice hit for the Reds. Congrats, Craig. Won that in the randomizer from that select blaster. Starling Marte. This is my first absolute box, guys. Any box, and it's a case. That wrist of the Sakino is nice looking.
I guess people like that guy, right? He should be pretty good. <laughs> Mike, don't don't wish don't wish me chopping off a finger on me. I don't think my family would really like that all that much. My girlfriend my girlfriend likes my hands. Jacob DeGrom to ninety nine. Donnie Walton, Relic. Anthony Rendon, Iconic Inc. New Angels third baseman. That's numbered to 96? Interesting. You would think, just, just sign three more. Make it an even 99, just like always. And Mauricio Dubon, rookie auto to 125. Juan Soto, Absolute Heroes, to 25. Nicholas Castellanos, to 10. That's a gold. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Dual Bat Relic, to 149. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you uh, sticking with me. Tools of the trade. Tyron Taylor to 132. The numbering on these is just mind-blowing. And Nico Horner. Rookie auto to 75. Second one in the box for that. And that's a pink stitched baseball. Maybe for Mother's Day? Nice looking. I didn't think it was dark though. So guys, any questions about me? Get to know your breaker a little bit? Kill that little bug that's on the on the sheet. Favorite football team? Clearly the Raiders. I have good taste in teams. So, if I don't do well for you, it's because I'm a fan of the Raiders. What? They asked what my favorite baseball uh, football team was, and I, I told them that if I do good for you, obviously I'm a Chargers <laughs> fan. If I do bad for you, I'm a Raiders fan. Wow. Are you, are you implying that Raiders fans don't have the best interests of other people in mind, <laughs> except for themselves. I mean, the only reason I'm allowed to stream at this point is because I believe County uh, Lights Out is before 9 o'clock. <laughs> it's in my blood to stab <laughs> the Raiders fans. That's what know. happens with Raiders watch, fans. You watch your mouth. Ra Raiders fans get a little stabby. You get a little stabby. You might see me talk to myself a lot, and that's okay. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Quad Relic to 99, Edwin Rios. Absolute Ink, Max Muncy. Purple, number 225, <clears throat> Domingo Leyva. Rookie Auto to 99. Guys, you've made it through four boxes so far. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, Alan from The Hangover? No, I have not. But, I mean, Zach Galifianakis is a good looking dude. We do run in similar circles of, of friends though. Uh, John, I was heartbroken, heartbroken with uh, Philip Rivers' departure.
I will always be a uh, a Philip Rivers apologist. First ballot Hall of Famer. Herbert Rivers? Uh, Rivers, by far. I don't... Jeff, I don't think... Uh, I don't think the Chargers should play Rivers at all this year. No matter how good or bad the year goes. So, let's say, best case scenario, Tyrod Taylor does amazing and takes the Chargers to a good record, contention, and gets you to... Uh, gets us to the playoffs. Very cool. <laughs> Joe, I'm saying best case scenario. You can't scoff at this. Tyrod Taylor in the playoff? Is there a mute button for Joe, guys? No. Just there. there never is. No? Um, Ask every elementary school teacher. So if Tyrod can get us to the playoffs, I mean, I'd be happy about that. And uh, if he doesn't, and let's say he struggles, and we're out of contention by, you know, two-thirds of the way through or something like that, um... I think what they need to do is they need to check out Easton Stick, see what they have in him, their fifth round pick from last year. Personal friend of mine. He doesn't know <laughs> it, though. I'm going to claim him as a friend until he believes it. Uh, and then if he's not any good, then yeah, Justin Herbert gets a full year. See? I knew Mike would appreciate that. I, I lined it up perfectly, too. Um, but... If, uh, if he's good and they still are dead set on Herbert, at least they know what they have in stick and they can either use him as a solid backup or if he's really good but they still want to stick with Herbert, they can use one or the other as trade, just like a Jimmy Garoppolo situation, and let that person go be successful in their new home. So that's my iteration of what should happen this year one way or another I don't think it's a good idea with a shortened training camp with all the restrictions on contact between the players and stuff like that Louie likes that um, that Justin Herbert should be rushed to the field whatsoever but I mean they have to see what they have at Easton Stick he has uh, more collegiate national championships than Carson Wentz did at the same school. And the projected number one or top five pick quarterback at North Dakota State this year, he still had more wins and national championships than him at the same school. So, I mean, maybe there's something there. Uh, Michael, I'm going to... I'm going to actually move my hands down once I go through the cards. Was the Celine Dion, I Will Always Love You, uh, was that for Philip Rivers? Because it's true. I will. Philip, if you're watching, I miss you already. Uh, the Alberto Mondesi is numbered to 199. Abraham Toro, Tools of the Trade, numbered to 99. Michael Baez, Tools of the Trade, Dual Relic Auto. To 75. Josh Rojas, rookie auto, numbered to 125. Yeah, I was just, I'm trying to, I have not broken in this stadium, this studio yet. So, I'm trying to, you know, kind of get used to the surroundings, where my hands go. 
I feel honestly, if anybody remembers, uh, Will Ferrell movie, Ricky Bobby, Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. I feel like him when he's in that interview, not knowing what to do with his hands. <laughs> you kind of, you kind of gets the idea, but just feels really awkward at this point. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, and feel free to adjust the camera however you want. I think to. I got to move the mat then if I'm going to do that, but I'll do that after the break. Eloy Jimenez. The 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 knob on the the ball of the tripod right there. On the left. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you press that and you hold the camera while you're pressing it, you can adjust it up, down, okay. left, right, however cool. you want to. Yeah. Uh, Jose Abreu to 199. Hallbound Larry Walker. I mean, he he's already in the Hall of Fame. Can't really call him Hallbound anymore. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah. Jake Fraley, Tools of the Trade. That's no respect. Dual Relic Auto to 75. No respect. Kyle Lewis, Rookie Auto. Nice with the light blue. Father's Day ball, number to 50. Larry Walker is a classic. Just a big old boy. Uh, Easton Stick, if you are working on a restraining order, I apologize for anything I said or did. But I promise I won't stop. Pete Alonso to 199. Eloy Jimenez, dual relic to 99. Jose Ramirez, iconic ink to 49. And Zach Gallen, rookie auto to 99. Because I'm still trying to get comfortable with everything, I feel like a guy that's just reading names and stuff off of a thing instead of somebody oh, huh? instead of somebody who actually knows like, you know, these players and the importance of the hits. But we'll get there. It's just your second break ever on the YouTube stream. It's all good. It's kind of like one A, you know. It's it's a related. It's related. It's related. A lot more steps on the on this rig though. Oh yeah. On the main channel. A lot, of, a lot of things to look out for. Look at the list. Look at the chat. Look at the fight. Yeah, I don't... Featherweights. I can take these guys. <laughs> these guys would kill me. Uh, Marco Gonzalez to 199. Ted Williams. Relic. Dual relic to 25. Good old Teddy ball game there. Can't knock me out if they can't catch me. Joe Palumbo. Right rookie time. auto. Mother's Day ball to 75. We have a redemption. Hunjin Ryu to 199. Yeah, I think that video is amazing. Him getting his Hall of Fame call while he's literally wearing a bowling shirt with SpongeBob on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's probably the coolest Hall, Hall of Fame call of all time. He's just like, yeah, this is Larry. He just starts crying. Made me cry a little bit. And then I immediately went and watched SpongeBob. Edwin Rios, quad relic to 99. Dylan Cease, tools of the trade. Quad relic, auto to 99. I like him. Jake Fraley, rookie auto to 149. 
stick around, guys. You can guys get more uh, good news and, you know, hard takes like I like him. Kyle Schwarber, Unsung Heroes to 99. Babe Ruth, Red to 99. C-Rex? Told you. Is Arthur in this? Am I helping Arthur yet? I was brought in to help help uh, some of the vets. Rex says he likes me so far. He's doing good. <laughs> Rex, everybody says that, that, that I shouldn't feel special, that you like everybody at the beginning. And it's like, wait. This a-hole doesn't pull hits for me either. <laughs> Did you, Mike? SpongeBob knew. Dylan Cease. Relic. Pinstripe. I'm hoping his uh, teammate, Michael Kopech, can get his stuff together. I like him. And rookie, Bo Bichette. Dual Relic Auto. You got a soft corner there, unfortunately. But number two, 149. Lewis Thorpe, rookie auto to 125. Javier Baez and Abraham Toro. We got three more boxes, guys. Oh, yeah, I think I, uh, I exaggerate that. I throw that pinky out pretty far. Tyler, we still got three more boxes. Don't give up yet. We need DJ Khaled to come in. Don't give up, Tyler. Don't give up. Another one. Another one. I'm going to do the Joe slow roll on this, guys. He does it so good. That is Rookie Baseball Material Signatures. Card 115. Yoshitomo Sutsugo. I don't know that. Is that Reds? Or Indians. No, I don't know. Anybody? Yoshitomo Sugo? I'll look that up. After. Yoshitomo Sutsugo. Rays? Or Yoshi for short. We were nowhere close Tampa to that. Tampa Bay Rays, yeah, nowhere close. <laughs> I was thinking of the Chinese guy on Cleveland, maybe? Who's supposed to be like a really good infielder for them? Like the infielder process? Okay. We can see if we can do that for you, Rex. No, no, not a bad request, I guess. Lewis Robert for you. What's the no for, Rex? But I got to do it the right way. Why do you want it to say, why do you want me to pronounce it incorrectly? Rex and Sean, no longer friends.
Robert. It's definitely Robert. Lewis Robert. How you doing, Obi Wan? Welcome to uh, Wednesdays, Jaspies After Dark. <laughs> Wait for it. It's a White Sox press conference. See? Luis Luis Robert. Robert. Luis Robert. Luis Robert. 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 I mean, we could roll. We could roll the R a little more, I guess, if you want. I don't have the ability to roll R's. If you want the, uh, if you want the whole Espanol experience, but it's Luis Robert. See that, Rex? The tape doesn't lie. Luis Robert. Lou Bob? <laughs> Lou Bob. I kind of like that. I wonder if that's what is a. Uh... Well, that, that's how they used. That's how they like anglicized uh, Roberto Clemente's name. They would call him like Bob or Bobby. Oh yeah, that's right. <sighs> What's up, Matt? Rolling my R is just uh, kind of looks like I'm trying to like hit on somebody. You gotta, you gotta. Just doesn't go well. Uh, I did probably like three or four times. I just don't remember if I passed any of them. Didn't click? No, I didn't. You don't even pass any of them. Don't remember. Jose Barrios, red to 99. Kyle Lewis, relic. No numbering. Aaron Savale, tools of the trade. Quad relic auto to 75. Jordan Hicks, who is opting out of this year, low numbered, auto from Father's Day, 15 out of 20. It's okay, Rex. We can all be wrong every once in a while. We just need everybody around us to, to be okay. You don't always have to be right. Honestly, I thought it was Robert too. When, yeah, you know, I mean, it sounds, it sounds more maybe natural. That's, maybe that's a little more like French. Robert? I think it's Robert, I don't know. Brendan McKay, Relic, Trent Grisham from the Padres, Triple Relic Auto to 99, and Evan White from Seattle, Baseball Auto to 99, Jordan. You know, if you can self-deprecate to say you're wrong 90% of the time, then I think you got a good good sense of yourself. Because you're probably overstating it, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Kettle Marte, red to 99. Max Kepler, Tools of the Trade, Triple Relic, 49 out of 99. We have another redemption. 
and Abraham Toro. Rookie baseball auto to 125. Alza Lee? Interesting. I thought it was Alza Lee. That's how I've been saying it. Hasbert? Alza Lee? Yeah. It's, apparently it's Alza Lee. Alza Lee? Yeah. That's what Rex is saying, but Rex did say he's wrong 90% of the time. Toro yeah. is on the Astros. I haven't heard anyone say it, so. Toro. Bull. It's Lee. It's Lie. Bull. It's Alza Lie, not Lee. Oh, Alza Lie? Every Alza Lie? what Rex is saying. Not Lee. I mean, Rex, he's a Cubs guy, so whatever the Cubs announcers say, I guess I'll roll with Clayton Kershaw to 99. Teammate Gavin Lux behind that. Single relic, no numbering. Eugenio Suarez, Suarez, Absolute Ink, Purple to 25. Tony Gonsolin, Gold Ink Auto to 25 for the Dodgers. Not, nice Dodgers pack there. He loves cats. Tony Gonsolin loves cats? Yeah, he's got cat t shirts. How did you find that out? Shane Bieber and Clevenger to 25. Backstage Dodgers on the on Dodger Sports in LA. Apparently Tony Gonsolin is a cat fan. But now he's he's rooming with uh, Ross Stripling's allergic to cats. Marcus Simeon, red to 99. No more cats. Ross Stripling taking Tony Gonsolin's love of cats away from him. Dodgers at at uh, odds? Yep. Tell us what it is. Tell us what what is. Oh, the redemption? Sure. That works, Jason. The suspense. This is Iconic Ink Duels Spectrum Gold. So is it two autos and gold numbered out of 10? Should probably put it on the uh, screen, huh? That helps. Card number six. That is E L O. Eloy. I feel like Eloy. I know Eloy Jimenez. Who's, is there a duel? There is. Rex is going to be happy, I think, still, right? Rex and has the White Sox? Frank Thomas. Rex does have the White Sox. Wow. So that's a gold auto out of 10. Rex, are we friends again? Oh, Rex is never going to break with me again. <laughs> Can we be friends again, Rex? And we're, we're for sure going with uh, Sutsugo with the, the Rays, right? Yeah, double check Sutsugo is Rays. Rex and Sean, friends again. Okay, guys, two more boxes. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, well, there's that auto. Robinson Cano, hall bound, single relic, no numbering. Joe Palumbo for the Rangers, single relic auto to 140. And Adrian Morijan, rookie auto to 125. Uh, I definitely do. I definitely do. 
Mike, Mike's a listener. He remembers. But I'll, I mean, Rex, who am I to turn down a free dinner? I never have, I have it once. Why would I start now? Jesus Lazardo. Jesus Lazardo, rookie roundup to 25. Charlie Morton. Cody Bellinger. Chris Paddock to 199. We have another rookie, Bo Bichette. Dual Relic to 99. Adrian Morajan. Nice patch there. Three colors creeping through in the bottom corner there. Out of 10. And Jonathan Daza for the Rockies. Rookie auto to 125. And Mark Canha rounds us out. Unsung Heroes to 99. Tyler, you're only 0 for 1 with me. Uh, yeah, Rex, it was gold. Number to 10. That card is gold! Ho, ho, ho! You to be there, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That was 2020 Panini Absolute Baseball. 10 box case break. Number three, random teams with jaspycasebreaks.com. Congrats, everybody.